What's the way, y'all? In today's tutorial, I'm about to teach y'all how to do 3D text. You see what's on my screen, right? 3D shit, yes. And the best part about today's tutorial, you don't need no plugins. So, um, yeah. In After Effects, uh, we're gonna make a new comp, new composition, and I'm gonna just paste this clip. It has a 3D camera tracker, but I'm gonna delete it, you know? And the Witcher clip already in here, right? You're gonna right click, come to track, and you're gonna track camera. And when you track this camera, you're gonna come to advance because you're a savage. You're gonna hit detailed analysis. I don't care what the situation is, you feel me? Yeah. So now, when this loads, I'm gonna hit y'all right back. Refreshing. Now that your, uh, your camera track is done, if you don't see them, just come over here to this little, uh, these five boxes over here, click the middle box, and when you click your clip, and you click the 3D camera tracker and the, uh, effects controls you'll see your points so as you can see you got some points in here right so before I do anything I want to have a ground plane so holding shift I'm gonna click and drag over points that are just on the floor some in the distance let me get these two points over here so now with this red circle on the screen you're gonna right click and you're gonna set a ground plane and origin once you do that you're gonna right click that red circle again and you're gonna add a solid in the camera and then once you do that press the camera tracker again just highlight some more points in the area you want to drop your text I really want to put it here kind of the same area where my uh, plane is at but I'm gonna just create a text and now you see I got a nice little track text and the plane is a little behind it so what I'm gonna do is this I'm gonna just you know position my text because this plane is going to play as our shadows. If you want to rotate the text, just hit R and rotate it in the X position. Yep. Until you see it standing up. And just scale it down. All right. So now you can take your text and just move it back to where it's over your solid. And now come over here to this area. If you don't already have it, mine is already set to advanced 3D just because, you know, I just did this. But if you just now coming into After Effects for the first time of the day, it's going to be on classic. So make sure you change this from classic, right? All right. So now that you have the advanced 3D, let's start getting our shadows in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and uh, I'm going to go to material options and I'm going to change except shadows from on to only. And then I'm going to bring my text down closer to the ground. So now I want you to highlight your text. Then you're gonna go to the geometry options. And I'm just gonna make the bevel style convex, a bevel depth, maybe three or four. And I'm gonna extrude it 45. And if your text starts to merge with each other, you can always go to the character section. Just go to window, open up character. Make sure all of the text is highlighted. And you just space it out. I always space it out over here. This one, the V, the little V and the A, you can just use that. Boom. So now I'm going to change my text and you see I'm walking so I don't want it to move in. I don't want the camera to move in, into my text. So I'm just going to move it over a little bit so it kind of goes through it. Let me just move that over and I believe. Hold on. All right. So now that we got the text here, right? So now let's deal with the material. Let's open up the text and let's go down to the material options. And we're gonna go to uh, specular shininess. We're gonna change that from 5% to 100%. Facts, cause we outside, like we, we outside. We, we not inside, you feel what I'm saying? There's no reason for us to be looking like we inside. So now you wanna come to the text settings as well. And when you come to the text settings, you don't have to hit the drop down. just hit animate. And on the animate, you wanna hit front color and hit RGB. RGB and then now you get the option to change the color. Go change the color to the color you want. If you don't like how your bevel looks, you just highlight all your text. Just go over to the text section and change the color over there. I made sure I chose gray so it can give me like a shiny look when I add my environment. Also, let me move this. Let me rotate this a little bit too. All right. So now that we have the material, we have the bevel. It's time to make this look a little realistic. So I'm going to go to Polyhaven, right? And I'm going to go grab me an HDR. Uh, And when you come to Polyavia, you just, you either sign up, sign in, it's free. You don't have to pay. You see, I'm not even logged in, but I'm still gonna come here and I'm just gonna search for something to use. 
grab a texture from here and open it in your project right so we're gonna go to file import file and just get the exr it's 4k and i'm gonna put it at the bottom of my project and just turn it off so now we can go to layer and we're gonna go to new and we're gonna add a light and this light that we're gonna add we're gonna change the light type from spot to environment cast shadows check that box and then press ok so now we got a shadow in the scene and to get the reflections from the HDRI onto your text just come to the light options and make that layer down there layer 6 which is the HDRI boom if you want the HDRI to like move just come to the transform and the environment light and play with the positions feel me you make two keyframes at the beginning of your timeline and then come to the middle and just change the values a little bit now I'm gonna take that keyframe and I'm gonna bring it to the end of my timeline. You feel me? I have it rotating throughout my text. So it's giving a realistic look now. You feel me? It's hella shiny. We have a shadow. You know what I'm saying? Without any third party plugins. From here, you can really freestyle. As you can see right now, I'm animating all of my characters like one by one. I had used a third party plugin and um, I'm not gonna teach you guys that about that in this tutorial because I'm gonna give you guys another tutorial on text but this time it's gonna be tracking with the subject and so on. But yeah, brothers, after you do some animations, you add some more lights, and you also add a color correction to your footage. If you guys know how to work in the Asus color space, it's, this is 10 times easier because then you'll be able to render this 3D text out and have it nice and raw, and then you can color match everything at one time. You know what I'm saying? But that's all for later tutorials. I really just wanted to show y'all that in 2025, if you really know how to use After Effects, you really don't have to spend any money on using Element anymore. Me, I've been using Blender for like the last <laughs> year or so, so I haven't even touched Element in such a long time. So to even come back and figure out that I don't even need Element anymore, it makes me want to learn more about this. So definitely stay tuned. I'm going to do more tutorials on specifically this little feature that they have in AE because it's not the best but for text and titling I feel like this shit is a game changer so yeah all right my brother so yo if y'all enjoyed this tutorial drop a like comment subscribe and I'm gonna be back at y'all with another one Jesus, baby.